Foss Tube friends, it's time for another episode. How is everybody doing on this awesome Friday Eve? It is Friday, September the 11th, 2020, and this is Floss Tube number 69. Um, these, this is a channel about cross stitch, and this is a video about cross stitch. And I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher. I am Joyfield Stitcher both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And I want to welcome you to another Fun Friday Floss Tube Weekly Update. Um, if you are new this week, welcome. I hope that you enjoy seeing some of the stitching and the chatting and all the other stuff that goes along with it. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and hanging with me again. And thank you so much to all of your kind comments last week. I have had so many awesome comments. Um, I had a lot last week. I had several people reach out to me specifically and just share how much my um, kind of sentimental moment at the end, my true life sharing at the end, uh, was really impactful. And that really brought joy to me. That uplifted me. Um, so you never know the power of your words and then beyond that how your words have affected me. So thank you so much for that. So this week we have quite a bit in store to show. I am well within the throes of hashtag Star Timber. Start Timber. Um, Start Timber is something that Aaron Two Martini Stitcher and I just decided one day. We were um, chatting via um, Instagram messenger and I was like well I have this plan this plan this plan and then she was like oh my gosh I have so many things planned well let's just start all the things start timber start all the things and so I'm selling some things with some people um stitch which is stitch along and starting a bunch of that stuff all leading up to my birthday which is October 13th I am about a month away from my 40th birthday and when I turn that magic number of 40 I am going to start working on whittling my whips down um, in hopes that by my 42nd birthday um, that I will in fact be at 42 whips. So 42 by 42. And this was something that Jen Lee of Quirks and Stitches posted that she was trying to accomplish by her 40th birthday, 40 by 40. And I was like, that sounds fantastic, but I'm going to be 40 in like a month. So that is so not going to work. And so I was like, well, let's do 42 by 42. So it gives me two years. But until then, I'm kind of starting all the things. Um, I'm trying not to start more than one thing on any given day. It does not mean I will have no new starts after the 13th of October. It just means that my focus is going to be on finishing and whittling down my whip count. Because it's going to be astronomical come, come the end of the year. Just saying. So that's a little bit about kind of what's been going on in my stitchy realm. Well, not completely. So some of you have been over and checked out my DStash page over on Instagram. It's joy.filled.dstash. Um, and I had, have DStashed a lot of stuff. And it's funny because I got several messages like, what is going on here? Do you have anything left? And I was like, I have too much still left. Um, so I have cleared out, I just realized I had beyond what any reasonable lifespan of mine I could stitch and I can't take it with me and I don't want to leave it for my family to have to deal with. So I'm sending it to homes where hopefully it will get stitched a lot more readily than I can. Um, a lot of it is because my tastes have changed, my preferences and counts of fabric have changed. I really am loving stitching on my Ada, my 18 and 20 count Ada, or my lower counts. I don't know how that works, lower, higher counts. Like my 25 and 27 Luganas, especially my Be Stitch Me fabrics. And so I kind of was like, you know, I don't need drawers and drawers and drawers full of fabric when I have a bajillion whips and things already kitted. Having all of this is a, it's a lot. And so... Um, I just was like, nope, I need to see some of it go. And especially since I'm wanting to be into knitting a bit more. I can't, I want to be able to knit and cross stitch both. I'm not giving cross stitch up, don't worry. 
I know some of you were like, I don't care if you talk about knitting, but don't give up on the cross stitch. I'm not giving up on cross stitch. No way, Jose. But I can't do it all with all the things I have. So we have successfully reached the end of the fourth week of in-school instruction. Um, I teach at a school here in Texas and our school is a private Christian school and we just finished our fourth week of instruction in person which is phenomenal. I, I don't want to say I was pessimistic but I was hopeful we could make it this long but thinking there's no way we're still in person learning and as far as I know we're going by Monday so I'm super excited about that so I've had a lot of comments about my headbands each week this is another one of the headbands that I got from Claire's they are a like a full not a full wrap around no, excuse the hair full wrap around headband they're just like this kind because I know somebody texted me or messaged me and was like okay what kind of headbands did you get and how do you get them to stay on your head because they just shoot off I was like oh no I can't do those either this is just like a little small headband. So because of the D stash, I'm kind of all over the place because this is my notes for today's video. I wanted to film and get back to stitching because I love what I started today. Um, and I didn't want to take time to write notes. It is what it is. What I do though is I, um, in Google Docs, type everything um, for my show notes. So my thought is, I'm just going to print it out and tape it in for this week. <laughs> the reason why I type it is because I have a template already that has all of a lot of my links that repeat week to week. And then I type in the new information. I'm a much faster typer than I am writer. And yeah, I do still like my little handwritten book. But one week is going to be okay. I promise. One week is going to be okay. Um, so I have a lot of small amounts of progress on projects because since I ran the D stash Saturday Sunday and Monday it took me like three days to post everything um, because when I didn't want to get shut down by Instagram and then I had to go through and make the list for every person I think I ended up with 17 or 18 pages of people's information then I have to calculate shipping, invoice, pack. I have taken one load to the mailbox. I did that yesterday morning. I stayed up late last night packing a ton more and getting them ready for labels to be put on them. I created shipping labels today um, for the ones that are in like priority bubble mailers so I knew what the shipping was going to be. And those, I just have to print the labels and stick those on. I'm hoping those will go out tomorrow. I'm kind of hoping by Monday I'm done with like everything being sent out. I've got a couple of invoices that are not fully paid. Once they're, once I get them shipped out, I'm going to archive everything that's been claimed and then put everything that's remaining on sale. Um, but I didn't want to, I, I didn't do that initially because I wanted to have like a finite endpoint. Um, so if there's something that you really want, go over and claim it, or you can wait until I, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a huge sale, but it's just like, let's get it gone. I don't know if I will post more stuff. I'm really just not sure. So the stitching and the knitting were few and far between. I found moments to do them every now and again, but it's not as much. So I'm just gonna kind of pull stuff as we go, I'll talk a little bit about plans and then stash. And I do have some stitchy kindness to share. But the first thing I'd like to show is an FFO. Now, back here used to be, used to be because I've FFO'd it, used to be um, my Hermione that I, um, I can't remember which shop it came from. I'll have to look it up. Um, my Hermione that I stitched and I never fully finished it. I just kind of like in, uh, stitched the edges and stuck it up there with thumbtacks. Well, I found this really cute little like book box on the Target dollar spot. And it says enchantments and spells. And it did on the front too is a dollar. It's in the taller Target dollar spot. 
And I was like, okay, I could totally put her on the front. And I did. So I used, I did interfacing first. And then I glued it on. I'm not going to lie. I glued it on. And then I used, this is some Lady Dot Creates cotton lace trim in Mary Jane's. I did a fabric covered button in this cute black and white gingham. It's actually a ribbon that I did because it's the right size. And then this is some Lady Dot Creates chenille trim that came out of that finishing kit that I got last week. And so I just threw this together so now I have her on the enchantments and spells. And then I don't know what's gonna go in here but I thought it was super cute. So there's a little FFO. I'm not like super in the FFOing mood but it is what it is. And you know what, while I've got it pulled up, I um, am going to pass the stat, did a little giveaway on this last week. And so I've gone ahead and pulled up the YouTube random comment picker. Um, there were 20 people who re said ghost because they wanted to stitch this. A couple of you said, I'm going to stitch it, but without the creepy skeleton like skull guy. So I have filtered it based on the word ghost. So let's see who I'm going to send this to. So the winner is Owl and Gator Stitcher. She says, I like the idea of stitching down to your birthday and keeping a realistic goal on when this can be accomplished. I would like to stitch the ghost. So Owl and Gator Stitcher, I will be reaching out to you to get your address unless you filled out my D-stash and then I have it. I don't think so though. Um, and then what I'm going to do, because I'm going to start doing um, giveaways or um, pass the stashes every week, I'm going to post a link to a Google form for you to fill out your mailing information so that I can have it available to me. So this is gonna go to Allen Gator Stitcher. And then this week, I thought I'd pass along a, I don't want that to fall on the floor, um, a chart from a magazine. Cause I have some that I thought were really cute that I'm not going to stitch. And I was like, why not send them to somebody who might want to stitch them? So I'm looking to see which one I want to do today, what I'm feeling today. Oh, I think this is super cute. Let me find all the pages. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. Now this might not be for everyone. A Couple of things. I still would like for you to be 18 in order to purchase, or not purchase, in order to claim so that I can legally have your address, please do not say giveaway. Please use the word in your comment that I have stated. Um, I am going to try fold this, like fold it in thirds, put it in a regular envelope with a stamp. If you're not interested in that, then totally fine, but I'd like to support the United States Postal Service. And um, also, not have to do like full first class package mail because that's, you know, that starts at like 250 or something. So I thought this one was cute. This is um, called, fittingly enough, Noah's Art Alphabet Sampler. Um, this is from Cross Stitch and Needlework, February, February 1997. Um, it actually is going to come with two charts because it's first going to come with this Noah's Alphabet chart. And on the back, um, it actually has, let me show you. So there's this cute little cup and these little like blocks. Um, and it says big and small. So I don't know that it has all of the animals. However, it has some of them and the charting for big and small. So you're actually getting two charts. So if you would like to stitch this alphabet sampler, please put the word ARK, A-R-K, A-R-K, because I will search it using the comment picker, A-R-K in your comment below. So yay for sharing fun charts with y'all. All right, so first up, let me share some stitchy kindness that I got. Um, so one of my the folks, I don't know, I didn't ask if I could share her name, so I'm not going to. Um, somebody that I sent something to as a giveaway, and mind you, it was way ridiculously late, and everybody that was like, that I was sending those, it was the document envelopes, was super like understanding and patient, like way beyond measure. Um, but we're kind of in a thank you spiral right now. Um, 
she sent me a super sweet card. I think that's adorable. I'm going to find some way to put that like in either my um, daily journal, like my devotional type journal, or um, put it in my stitchy journal. And she said, she asked if she could send me some small charts. And I said, one, that's not necessary because I sent you that because one, your name was chosen and because I'd like to give things to, to y'all for your support of me. But she said, I have some small charts. I've either stitched them or I'm not going to. Please take them and use them and stitch them. Well, first of all, I've already been wanting to get some of these. Um, and so these are some of the little small Prairie Schooler cards. So there's this one. Love, love him. This one with the holly, the little snowman. Rain, so cute. There's two stuff the little watering can and then look at that peace angel that's precious so I got some little prairie schooler cards she sent me this one by the trilogy which is home this looks like my house like totally red door brownish with a brown roof totally my house um she sent me this one sisters are special I don't have a sister but my mom has some sisters my daughter doesn't have a sister it's still really cute. And then I've got, I'm excited about this one because I've been looking at these to stitch as a series. So the Winter ABCs from Lizzie Kate. Um, I actually have the full series of this, um, but this is so cute. The little apple, A is for apple. And then moms are magnificent. So cute. And then grandparents are grand. And so I might stitch that one for um, my parents from Joyfield Little One. I would have her stitch it, but she would probably get bored of it. And then how cute is this? So she's told me she was sending these, and then she said, I put in a little surprise for you. How cute are those buttons? They're joy buttons. So now I've got to figure out what in the world I'm going to do with these, because they have to go in a place of true honor. They are, a, they're a shank back button. So, and I don't really use needle minders very often, so I don't know that that's what I would use them for, but there's going to come some purpose for them because these are awesome. So, thank you. You know who you are, and I really appreciate your kindness and generosity. Um, not expected in any way, shape, or form. I had one other thing that came, kind of a happy mail that I did not purchase per se. Um, I... Um, subscribe I'm a patron I but it's kind of subscribing to Stitch Life magazine um it is a digital magazine it's been um around for about around six months ish um maybe a little longer and I was actually the featured floss tuber in their April issue I believe um but anyway as a patron one moment going to try to do that all in one go round but Amazon decided they were going to chuck um, protein shakes boxes of protein shakes on my porch so I what I heard was whoomp and I was like oh good gravy what in the world I should have known because I knew they were being delivered but I really thought like hey I'm we're gonna walk them up not like chuck them like a paper anywho Stitch Life magazine as a patron I get their magazine um, I think it's monthly and it has some great articles about designers, uh, about floss tubers occasionally. It'll have a pattern or two in there occasionally. Well, anyway, they um, made a post. They have a Facebook group that I'm also part of. And they made a post that uh, to make sure that anybody who is a patron had their addresses correctly updated because they were going to send out, like, gifts. Well, I thought, okay, that's cool, but I didn't know what to expect. Well, so, got a package yesterday with a super cool Stitch Life, love navy, by the way, navy tote bag, like super awesome. I'll hold a lot of cross stitch. And then it came with one of my favorite kinds of like bags to kit up projects or when I've run out of my nice bags, I can put them in these. And then it came with... One of these super awesome floss cards that says cross stitch and then a little like Altoid type tin that has a sti stitch life decal on it and inside it has these awesome I've had some of these for like years they're like my favorite like little folding snips 
And then how stinking cute are these? And I've got to figure out a, like a little small alphabet. They're like little wood pendants you can stitch. So I was thinking I would do um, one with my first initial and one with Joyfield Little One's first initial. So how fun is that? So I will link below Stitch Life Magazine. Um, I was super honored to be asked to be part of it so early on. And it's really picking up steam. Uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy was part of it. Um, Carla Rolodex Stitches was part of it. Oh, and things have gotten real with my cups. This came last Friday, I think after my video. I don't think I showed this last week. This is a gigantic, like 50 ounce Yeti style cup. It's by the brand Reduce. I, of course, have my little hollow de bow decal and my big old silicone straw. So, lots of cold water for me. All right, let me show you some stuff. So, on top of this bag are my knitting projects. So, we're going to see knitting first. All right, so in this Amazon bag is my is the garter rib baby blanket this chart is a free pattern by orange flower yarns and i am knitting this for my daughter's teacher who also happens to be my co-worker and my friend i am stitching it with um chai goose red lace circular 32 inch cable us size eights and i am stitch stitching it i swear that is hard to change that vernacular I am knitting it with Barocco Comfort in this beautiful light pink. The color is 9705. It's like the perfect light blush baby pink. I showed you this last week and I actually had more than this done. But then I realized shortly after showing it, I don't even think I'd done my setup row, which is how you get the garter ribbon. And, um, I think I did it after my video on Friday night or Saturday early. I can't remember exactly when I put in the setup row. But I did two little, two repeats correctly. And then I got off one stitch and it was wrong all the way across. So I ripped it all out. So we are going to put our progress marker in. And I didn't get very much done in this. I've got to truck along on this a little bit faster because Hello Baby will be here whether I like it or not. Whether the blanket is done or not, the baby will come. And we want to make sure that the baby has the cute, squishy blanket. Um, so anywho, I've got my cute little progress marker that I got from Charmed and Dangerous. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I have nothing on my nails. I have naked nails, but that is going to change. One of the things on my list tonight is to put on some color street. I'm gonna show you the color I picked and I have some in haul and stashy stash. All right, I did put some um, progress into my hitchhiker shawl. This is my current shawl I am working on. This is by Martina Bem. Um, I will link below where you can go find this pattern. I actually bought this as part of a four pack of shawls that are all based on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, and I am knitting this with Chai Gu, um, Red Lace Circulars, US two and a halfs with a 40 inch cable. And the yarn that I'm using is this by Thread Pickers. It's called Mucky Pup. I actually have two skeins of this, which is gonna be way too much. So I may be um, passing the stash, so to speak, on this other um, already caked ball. Because let me tell you something, Joyful Little One loves to crank, loves to crank the ball winder or the cake maker. She thinks it's awesome. Um, so I did get some progress in this, not as much as I probably would have liked considering my progress marker is only about th four rows, but it's coming along. It's now probably what would be a good size for like a doll. Um, so anyway, but I love this squishiness. I love how the garter just makes it extra kind of cozy. 
so I need to move my progress marker on this one. And this one, I just used one of the little light bulbs. And I've somehow gotten this all kinds of wonky in here. There we go. Um, so I'm really enjoying having the knitting to do like every now and again, even at work. Um, like if I have, you know, 10 minutes in between seeing students in my room, I can pull this out and even if I don't even make it a whole row, it's really okay because what I do, and it's a little, it's a little bit on the excessive side, especially on a pattern that's this easy. I go through and I create a cell, like a spreadsheet basically, of every row. And then I highlight as I finish a row. So what's nice is if I have to stop in the middle of a row, I can set it down and I know because I haven't highlighted it that I haven't finished that row. So this is also in one of those Amazon little totes. And then I did get a, um, I did cast on, I think I talked about this last week when I showed the yarn, but I cast on, and you know what? I don't have the book in here. Let me look it up on my phone because I want to, I want to share with you. Where, where's my phone? Oh, good gravy. I set it down somewhere. All right, hold please. The dog. <laughs> a video of mini clips and the dog just crashed into the door as he laid down. That was that womp of the door. Um, okay, so back to started this prayer shawl for my friend who is going through kind of a tough time right now. And I got this book when I was at um, Juju Knits, which is the uh, uh, LYS local yarn shop I went to here in Fort Worth, um, owned by a super, super knowledgeable knitter herself, uh, Julie. And she recommended this book, Knit, Pray, Share by Lisa Hennessy, um, or yeah, Hennessy who is local to me also. She's in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And specifically, I was looking for some yarn to do a baby hat. And she said, well, what pattern are you using? I said, well, I have a pattern at home. I don't have it, you know, right off the top of my, you know, I don't have it right here with me. Um, and she said, well, let me show you this book. And it has this super great baby hat in it. So I'm actually looking for the baby hat. Um, I should have had this better prepared. Here we go. How stinking cute is this baby hat? It's got this little bow and a little top knot. So that's going to be in the Barocco in like the white with red. And then in here is the... I'm doing this one. It's called the Triangle Comfort Shawl. And this is a beautiful book. I'm bummed, though, because today started the North Texas crawl, yarn crawl. And Lisa was at Juju Knits today, 12 to 3, to sign books. But I teach, so I couldn't be there to get mine signed. But that's okay. This is a fantastic book, Knit, Pray, Share. Um, there's so many great patterns in here. All very easy. Um, and if you are someone of faith, Every project comes with a prayer to pray and think and kind of breathe into what you're working on. So anyway, I am using that beautiful uh, yarn that I showed last week, Brava. It's a bulky weight. This is from Knit Picks. It is a steal. This is um, $2.49 for approximately... 136 yards, 100 grams. Um, it is fantastic. It is super easy to work with. I am knitting this with, I believe these are size 17 chai goose. Again, circular cables. And I have begun the shawl and it's starting to decrease on the ends. It's a simple triangle shape. This is actually knit with two strands of the bulky. So it knits up very quickly. Um, and it's going to be super squish and awesome. And I don't have a progress marker for this. So 
So I'll have to do that before I put anything else in it. So I did start that, and this is in um, like a grocery tote because it's got like so much yarn. All right, that's all the knitting that I did this week. So in no particular order, I'm going to show you what I worked on this week. So I did finish putting a lot of my tags on. This one lives in a project pouch that I sewed, and this holds a new start. This is from a shop on Etsy called Retro Rose 98. And this is her castle black work. She has this castle, which is meant to look like um, Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland. And then she also has one that's meant to look like Cinderella's castle from Disney World. And it is black work. Um, I am stitching this on 18 count shale Ada from Picture This Plus in the called for DMC. This is for Joy Filled Little One. Um, I really wanted a black work project just to do or a um, back stitch style project. And when I saw this pop up in my, hey, we recommend this to you because of other things you searched. I was like, uh, yes, so cute. So um, it's blowing that out big time. But I've just done a little bit of a center start. Um, we chose the gray. It's not showing up in this light at all, but you can see the, the light pink and the dark pink. We chose the gray because it kind of looks like the stone of a castle. Um, so we'll see. Now that I'm seeing it, it is harder to see. Um, I might, since I'm not too far in, I might swap it to white or a cream or something like that, which is what is called for. So that was a start. A lot of things were starts. This was not a start. This was a start last week, but I did put some more time into it. This is um, called Sealed with a Snowflake. This is from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and this is in the 2020 Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament issue. This is on a mystery piece of Mystic Fabrics with the called for DMC or close. Um, I did do this from Stash. This is 18 count Ada. I don't know if I said that or not, I'm sorry. And the seal is finished, so is the pink ring around him, and I've started filling in the light blue. It's so cute, oh my gosh. And I've gotta come up with a name for him. Or let Joyfield Little One pick a name, because this is an ornament for her tree. One of her trees, she has two. She has two trees. <sighs> oh, to be eight. Yes, tomorrow is a big day for her. She has chosen to get her ears pierced. So we are going to get her ears pierced at a nice ear piercing place. Not a, psh, psh, not a, you know, bow, bow one, but like the nice needle style, like very gentle. They do it all the time. It's a place in Dallas called La Lobe. And then she's going, we're going to the American Girl store to get her doll's ears pierced. Because she wants to. And I was like, okay, we're going to Dallas. Might as well. All right, this is another new start, and this lives in a Diddly Daddle Designs in hand stitcher size bag. And this one holds, I love this, Cherrywood Design Studios, and this is Gift. This is from their um, Dictionary Celebration series. This is the first in that series. I actually saw, um, I was watching Sunshine, Sunshine Stitchers a few weeks ago. And EJ showed that she was starting one of their dictionary series. And I was like, I have one of those. Where is it? And I found it. And I was like, oh, I need to stitch that. So I am stitching this on an 18 count fog Ada from Picture This Plus. And I changed up the colors a little bit. Um, I am doing the words in Gentle Arts Amethyst. And the like light colored that's the fill in of the where the manger is in Victorian Motto Prim. This was Heavenly Rose. This was from Limited Edition. One of their Floss Club months, like last July 2019. And I have a bit of a start on it. I have good and perf. Um, so I love the typography on this one. This one is going to be fun to stitch and it's not going to be very big. Um, this is an eight by 12 piece and it'll be smaller than that. 
not ornament sized, but not super huge. I do think that a lot of what I've, not a lot, but some of the ones that I've chosen to start right now are smalls. Um, this project lives in a um, Floss Buddy Bendy Flip from Bags Plus. This is also from the 2020, let me make sure I'm right about that. Yes, the 2020 um, cross Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Edition. It just came out. I bought the digital copy. Um, and this is St. Lucy's Light. And this is by The Little Stitcher. And I think it's so cute. I think I might have shown this last week. Did I show this last week? I don't know. Let's pretend I did. Didn't. Um, and I am stitching this on 18 count Vintage Country Mocha. And I subbed in, it called for DMC light effects, which no. And so I instead chose DMC a 12 and it is super sparkly, yay. And this is the color C972. So that's where I am. I might've shown this last week. Now I can't remember. Oh well. So I'm loving these little ornaments. I think that was a great, I, I thought it was a great issue. Um, I actually went because I got a notification that some of their other issues, like further back, were on sale. And I was like, okay. All right, this next one lives in this little, tiny, Garon Toten bag. This is their old 5x6 mini bag series. Um... And it fits the smalls perfectly, but I'm kind of obsessed with the six by nine now, um, just saying. And this one holds the love bug. This is a Patreon exclusive from Ink Circles. I am a patron of um, Tracy over at Ink Circles. And I had seen uh, Michelle stitch this one and I was like, oh, I wanna stitch that. So I went ahead and pulled all the flosses, super bright and fun. And this is on a piece of 16 count um, Ada in Barnwood. And I have a lot of temp stitches done. <laughs> I have done half crosses because um, it's DMC, so that's easy to do. I just have this on a small little hoop because it's a small piece of fabric. And my only six by six Q snap is in with uh, Noah's depths right now. So I do have some of this. This is actually going to be a nice um, like doctor's office type stitch or something like that. My intention would be to put in a lot of half stitches and then it's one I can take with me and just complete the X's. And this little hoop fits in here. It doesn't necessarily close very well, but it fits. See, it fits. It doesn't close, but it fits and stays in there nice and snug. All right, so next up, this was another new start. There were a lot of starts this week. I did not get to my big old project, which kind of bums me out. So I'm gonna try to maybe put some into it this weekend. That's Autumn Drum because I'm just doing the top because I just found out that the um, other one that I'm gonna do, the other acorns, is shipping tomorrow. Yay, because it came in. Um, this one lives in a project pouch that I sewed with some awesome fabric. I think this was an Alexander Henry from way back in the day. And this holds Lindy Stitches, Poor and Needy. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. This is on a piece of Bee Stitch Me 16 Count Ada. Does not have a um, colorway. This is not going to be this big. I did not cut it down. I just decided to just go for it. And um, I have a fairly decent start. So this is the... I did start top left on this one. So this is down the left hand side with the thistles. Um, I did some converting with this because I did not have any of the called for. And I was like, I'm gonna kit from stash. So I did because she gives, it, it calls for overdyes, a gentle arts and four weeks dye works. It also calls for DMC 645, but she gives you the DMC equivalents. So I went through and pulled flosses from my stash and that's what it's going to be on this fabric and this fabric is a little like Outback Jack Outback Jack um, it's not officially named Outback Jack but it reminds me of Outback Jack so that is what I have so far on that I love this one um, 
I have some other Lindy stitches planned. I have beautiful things is like, I think one of my birthday weekend starts. And then I have some of her smalls also as starts, I believe. Um, and then I've got, I did start, I'm so excited about this one. It lives in this awesome, love you more studio co sleeve. This used to hold my Bible. But um, because my Bible is not really traveling with me, I did get a Bible at school, so I don't need to travel. I was like, this is the perfect one for this project. I will show you a better picture. This is Caterpillar Cross Stitch Hello Pumpkin. I figured since I am starting Hello Dear at the end of this month, there is still probably time to order that kit and for sure get a PDF and chart kit it up of um, the Hello Dear, the new stitch along coming from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. It begins... September 28th, the first part releases, and I'm super excited. It's another cute tree. And um, I am excited that they thought to send, to inquire if I wanted a kit and send me a kit, and I'm excited about that. And in fact, I just realized this needs this needle minder. And I don't use needle minders, but I'm going to because this goes with this project. So, let me put this on here real quick before I show you my progress which is not much. All right, so I am doing this on, thir very untraditional, shocking, um, on 32 count Lugana. This is in the, um, I think it's called barn, barn board check. I will put in the specifics for sure below. I have purchased this off a of seller on Stash Unload, but you can also get it from Fat Quarter Shop, and I have a bit of a center start. But this is going to be so cute and it's kind of making me want to switch up my fabric on Hello Dear because Hello Dear came with white even weave. But I have an idea. So I'm not sure if I can do that or not, if I'm allowed to do that. I'm probably going to reach out to Sally and say, hey, I have this idea. Can I stitch it on this and see if she's okay with it? But these, this is the color palette. Excuse me. How bright and fun is that? I love everything. I've now got, once this one start, once Hello Dear starts at the end of the month, I will have three on the go. So I've got Hello Pumpkin. I started the Positivity Rules, which is so good too. It's so bright and fun. And then I'll have Hello Dear. And it won't, they won't be my last. For sure will not be my last. Which brings us to today's start. And this popped up in my Facebook feed. One of the few times I was actually on and looking at a notification, this was right at the top. Um, I have in the past really enjoyed um, charts by Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy. She's Australian. Rachel is her name, and she's such a fun and whimsical designer. Um, I started one of the mini stitch alongs I ditched um, was Mini Monsters Sal. It just got to be too much, but it was such a cool, cool thing. And I have all the pieces, and I think at some point I would love to stitch them as like smalls, like ornaments or something. I think that would be really fun instead of as one large piece. She has a sow going right now. It's only on part, I think part five releases tomorrow. There's 16 parts. And it's called the Christmas... Home for Christmas stitch along. And what got me was the post was somebody posting the fourth house. Yep. And then I was like, well, what do the other ones look like? These are the first four. So you've got this cute, like, gingerbread -y looking kind of house, the snowman house, the Christmas tree house the gingerbread castle and the beehive. So I was like sold because they're real small. And so I am actually stitching this as ornaments. And I am stitching all of them on a 20 count vintage country mocha. And this is where my start is on that first house. Look at how tiny and precious and adorable those little windows are with the back stitching. Oh my gosh, so fun. It is a fast stitch. This was maybe less than 30 minutes of work. Now, I was missing a ridiculous quantity of the DMCs, so what did I do? Visited in my fancy flosses and I beefed it up. Like, it called for 666 Christmas Red, but I'm going with like color and cotton 
uh, this is Bean Cherry. I wanted it more like richer. Um, I've got a Weeks Dye Work. This is Cypress. I've got another color in cotton. That's granite. I've got, there calls for a tiny, tiny bit of orange, but I didn't have the orange that was called for, so I've got Rise and Shine. It calls for several greens. This is Party Green from Victoria Motto. It calls for this pretty yellow, uh, a yellow or two. So those are my two yellows. Here's one of the other greens. That's Mountain Top. And then it calls for three different browns. So I've got Chestnuts, Oregon Trail, and Stitching in Hand. So I'm excited to stitch these with the hand dyed um, or over dyed or whatever you want to call them. And I'm loving it on the 20 count. I'm using one strand of floss and um, I'm excited to see what the one is released tomorrow. I will link below um, to the chart in her Etsy shop. I actually also purchased at the same time two others that I would like to start before my birthday. One is a super cute rainbow chart. It looks like a rainbow. And then it has like a uh, kind of a nod to macrame. And then a nativity biscornu. It would be my first biscornu. And I had the two perfect pieces of fabric for it. So those are coming soon. Um, so yes, one quick disclaimer, as I say every week, notes will be there, but it will be tomorrow. And let me tell you what else is tomorrow. For instance, get to open my box. Now, because we are going over to Dallas for part of the day, I will not be able to participate in all of the Zoom amazingness, but they are recording it. Um, I'm going to get on in first thing when it opens up and when my time is to, to Zoom in, open my box, and then we have to leave. And then I'm hoping we'll be back in time for me to participate a little bit before it ends at 5. Um, but they're going to, like I said, record it, and then it'll be available in the Facebook group that's for participants only. All right, so we are going to chat a tiny bit about plans. Um, so I'm still, like I said, in the middle of start timber. So I have a start a day. Um, and the way that I'm doing it is um, I am, hold on one second. I am. I have listed them all out just by number and then I'm using random number generator through uh, Google. And if it pops up with a number that I've already started, then I just do another number. I have some that are planned. Um, for instance, on the 22nd, which is not coming up too quickly, I am starting Snow Queen by Mirabilia for Erin T. Martini Stitcher's Mirabilia Stitch Along. Um, it's her first and also Alicia of uh, Resist Stitch they're both starting their first mirror. It is not my first mirror because I started gathering eggs back in Easter time. Um, but that one's not a traditional mirror. This is my first like fancy lady mirror. So now I've done a Nora Corbett because I did uh, V Fairy. I did the letters from Nora V Fairy for Joy Filled Little One. And um, then I've got Hello Dear starting at the end the end of the month on the 28th and then the weekend before my birthday leading up to my birthday I have some planned starts um, I have on the 13th I'm starting time to be alive by heartstring samplery that is an exclusive chart to acorns and threads it is still where you could get it shipped to you it's a reasonable chart it's a beautiful chart and um, then I'm starting on the 9th I guess I could go ahead and um, say that I'm starting um, I am starting the Return the Kindness. It's a cute little rabbit chart with um, Stephanie, Steph of Just Keep Stitching on the 9th. And I've got one for the 10th, one for the 11th, one for the 12th. And then um, I just found out that my fabric for Consider the Lilies shipped today. So it will be here by October 1st, which is when I wanted to start Consider the Lilies. And so yay, woohoo makes me a little nervous because that thing is mega amazingly awesomely huge and um yeah let me see what my big project's going to be for this week let me find my wheel <laughs> all right so let's spin and see what i'm gonna try to get some stitches in to and it says 100 stitch box 
playing with jacks. I don't even have that one anymore. I UFO'd that. Apparently, I need to clean up my wheel. That's a good one. Okay, Blessed is the Life. That's a little house uh, needleworks that I am doing a full conversion on. All right, so let's start with some stashy stash, but we're going to start with non stitchy related stashy stash. So first, the color that I'm going to put on my nails is this one. It is Munich Mulberry, which I think is really pretty. It's an early fall color in my opinion. And this is from the amazing, I'm going to hide her um, phone number because I don't know if she wants that out there, Jen Upton. She is On Point Polish. She has a Facebook group. That is her website, onpointpolish.com. And um, yeah, she dealt me some more. These are some of the fall ones. So I wanted to show them to you in case you want to go grab some because they are amazing. This is one of my favorite releases I've seen. Now I love fall. I love all things fall, but I'm obsessed. Okay, this one is called All Wild Up. And so it's kind of a pretty neutrally sandy taupe within the like cool zebra print. This is Wing It On. And it's a shimmery terracotta but then it's got the accent nails with these like almost butterfly wing shapes. So cool. This one is called Scott Topic and it is a hunter green glim uh, glitter. This is Would You Rather. And this is like a dark hunter green. This one is Plaid Reputation and it is a plaid glitter. Yes, there for it. And then this is the last one, Rust Worthy. And it's really cute. It looks like a rusted out, just way cool. So anyway, um, yeah, love them all. Love them all. Probably have more coming soon. But I spread it out over a few paychecks. So I am going to put on this though, this evening. All right, so let me talk. Oh, this is plans too. So we're bouncing back now. Um, I have been following this knitter on Instagram. Um, her name on Instagram is Bayron or Bayron Handmade. So this is how you say it or see it. And she has beautiful charts. This is her moving forward wrap. And she has a fantastic story behind the time in her life when she designed it. It is in the shape of an arrow. It is probably above my knitting pay grade, but I am ready to try something different. This is amazing. It's got a lot of repeat. It's kind of like there's one pattern chunk and then it repeats like four times or three more times. Um, it calls for about 1,100 yards of a fingering weight yarn. So I, do, I, I don't have enough of any one type but I have a lot of fingering weight yarns. So I have a couple of ideas. So the first idea is to use some of the ones I got from Knit Picks and do like multicolored. My other one is I have bags of mini skeins. Back when I used to take part in the mini crates from Knit Crate. So each one of these has 40 yards and I have 30 of them which means I would have 1,200 yards. And so I've got these fun and awesome colorways. I've got these. It's kind of all over the place. Um, I've got some more grays, like I've got these two light grays. This one was already bald because I was gonna use it for something. I've got these fun ones. Look at how fun these are. Yes. And then I've got some more neutrals. I've got these browns, light browns and dark browns. Okay. So my thought was lay these out. I've got two skeins of each one. So I have 15 different varieties. Is to lay them out and figure a progression of them. And then figure out like how these would fit in. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I am. Because I'd love to be using these for something. And I think this would be awesome. Because these are from my past. I'm knitting towards my future. I thought that made sense. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. 
anyway, so that's my thought is, um, yeah. So let's do some joy filled stashy stash time. It's joy filled stashy stash time. And my address is right there, but I'm hoping it blew it out. I don't know. All right. So first up, um, I have purchased two charts from this Etsy shop. It's called Skein Nanigans. So it's Skein and then switch. Some people say Skein, but I've always said Skein. Skein Nanigans. And she had a D stash. Yeah. So this was my other idea was to maybe use some of these yarns that I got from her. Um, I think she has some left and I think it's all on sale. So head over to Skein Nanigans D stash on Instagram. So she had a lot with these. So this is um, Holst yarn or Holst yarn. Um, and this is their coast, which is, it's knit on a 2.5 to a three millimeter. So it's almost like lighter than a fingering, more like a lace weight. This is in the color fairy. This is in the color begonia. And this is in the color geranium. But it almost makes a really pretty ombre. So I don't know what this is for, but I could not pass it up. It was like a steal. She had this. This is from the Backyard Chicken Collection from Hugh Loco. And this comes with a 100 gram, gram hank and two 20 gram minis. And this is the Black Australorp Collection. Isn't that so cool? I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it was too amazing to pass up. She had this was like a steal. She had two of these cakes. Super nice squishy. I don't know what for, but they're rainbow and they're super cute. I think those are self-striping. I love me some hedgehog sock yarn. And look at this. It's called Cat's Pajamas. I'm going to put this over to this side because I can show you. Then she had this one. Let me get the tag. Which is from IntoTheWorld.com. And this is Aurora Borealis hand painted Pankoku sock. Yes, in Aurora Borealis. And then she had this one, which is from Nomadic Yarns. And this is Trusty Sock Kiss the Girl. So I was thinking, what if I went insane, went Huloka, and did like something like this? And then I was like, no, that's too much. But how cool are these? Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All the yes. And I love this. Got to find something that calls for like a large quantity and then some skin, mini skeins. These are fun. I don't know. It was just too good. And um, she, she kind of posted over a couple of days and let you keep your invoice open. Sorry, that was very crinkly. All right. So then Jen Upton enabled me she pulled out her knitting and she was working on this this is garter galaxy this is a shawl um it's completely reversible it calls for a yarn that i could not locate um and i don't know if it's not made anymore i'm not sure but this is by a company called 10 hour or less um and you purchase off of their website it has very detailed instructions good visuals, um, and they say you can do it in 10 hours or less. We shall see. So it's uh, 10 hours or less dot com. 10 written out the number 10. So anywho, I was like, well, I need to find something fun to knit this with. Um, and it calls for a DK weight, I believe. No, excuse me, worsted weight. And it calls for 440 yards. So I was like, hmm. Well, let me, let me search around for worsted weight yarns. And I found some Malabrigo. This is their Rios Worsted Weight. And I found this from a website on, or from a shop on Etsy. This is Native Twist Studio. Um, they do say you can find more at nativetwiststudio.com. Their pricing was great on this, and I bought two different colorways. So I bought this one, which is the no dye lot, it says, but it's the Arco Re Arco Iris. Yeah. This is super squishy. I love the worsted. I mean, look at that right there. 
gorgeous. So this is option one. Option one. I might be making two of these. I probably will end up making two of these. This is option two. And this is in Anniversario. Anniversario. So I'm thinking initially this is the one I want to start with, but I don't know. What do we think? One or two to start? One or two? Better one, better two. Better one, better two. Two! Two! Bless me. Better one, better two. I don't know. I think they're both beautiful. They will both get used eventually. The pricing was fantastic on them. So go check out Native Twist Studio. All right, so then I participated in um, Silk Weaver Needlework Gallery has a Facebook group where they do flash sale albums. I actually had placed one from some of their past albums. I've not gotten that order. I don't even know that that order shipped, but I've reached out to them because when I got this second one, I was like, hmm, interesting. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. When I saw them, I'm like, yes, I've never seen anything like this. So this is a Zweigert Madagascar kitchen towel. It's a 14 count Ada with apricot border. I am honestly thinking how cute that would be with some of the monograms from that monogram book. So I got this color, the apricot. I got the gray. And I got indigo blue. <laughs> Random, I know. I don't know. I don't have any direct immediate plans, but I was like those are so cool. Like cool. So They came to my house. Now hopefully the other stuff will show up. All right, so then my friend, Sh my friend Shirley, like she's my friend. Shirley on um, Stash Unloading, Cross Stitch Only Stash Unloading, um, she does the really cool patchwork bags. Well, then she posted a Tula bag that, um, not going to lie, I was like, darn it, I missed it. So then I said, do you have any more? And she was like, I'm posting one another colorway. This is going to be for a knitting project. Maybe for one of those, for the 10 hour or less. It's one of my most favorite Tula fabrics. It's the one with the chipmunk slash squirrel. I don't know if it's squirrel or chipmunk. I'm going to say squirrel. But it's a perfect, it's like a gusseted bottom. It's got a strap. It's got fun lining on the inside. Yes. So it came to my house. She finds ways to buy bags, doesn't she? Including being enabled by Erin T. Martini Stitcher when she showed her cute little small bag. I ran right over and ordered one and it came from Canada super quick. This is from a shop on Etsy called Birch Grove. And this is just a little cute, like I think she calls it her sock bag. But look at how pretty these butterflies and moths. I think they're moths. The moths are. And it's got a leather drawstring with these pretty silver beads. Love it. So I think the baby hat's going to go in here when I start working on that. I don't know. I would like to make a pair of socks. Joyfield Little One wants me to make her a pair of socks. And I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about that. We shall see. Okay, so then this was an Amazon find. So you know how I talked about changing over my bag tags to the little luggage tags and then it has the business cards in it. So I wanted something that I could put the little cards in when I finish things. Well, I happen to have a few and I found this little album. Isn't it pretty? Um, I will link this below. It has like a little, this is just a little strap closure. And it has where you can slot in the little cards. So I've got lots of room for finish cards. So these are my two that I have so far. But it does three to a sheet front and back. Cool, right? I didn't want to put them on a ring. I was like, I want them in like a book, like a photo album. And so I love this new system. I love it. It's going to require maintaining things because like some of the things I've been kidding, I don't have tags for yet. But um, my goal would be to within a reasonable time frame to have a bag tag on it with the card. All right, so then I talked previously about Treehouse Knits. 
Um, it's owned by a fantastic um, dyer named Lauren, and she is out of Austin, Texas. Um, I purchased from her, well first, how I found her was looking for a knit advent calendar. And I loved her theme behind it. As far as I know, she still is open um, for them, and I'll link that below. And I purchased from her a skein of one of her yarns called Celestial, St Celestial Sands. And it came in, and it is gorgeous. Um, her quality is fantastic. So, um, with Celestial Sands, I realized she does a yarn of the month. And she'll show you a picture, but you don't know what you're getting until it arrives. And you can choose your weight. So she does fingering, DK, and worsted. And I think she does two different fingering. She does like a four ply and a one ply. So my August came. And I literally, my August came and I have been waiting until she posted September. She posted September. I bought it. I also placed a, another order for some more of her yarns that I saw that I was like, yes, please. And um, they're supposed to be here tomorrow, I believe. Yes. So this is August 2020 by Treehouse Knits. All I can say is dude. Is that not gorgeous? So this is a 75% merino, 25% nylon superwash, 463 yards, hand wash on cold, and this is her August 2020. So September was already purchased. I wish she would do it where it's like an auto thing, but with Etsy, there's really, I don't think, a way to do that. Um, I'm not sure how that works. So, but yeah, I cannot wait for my other month to come. It even smells really good. Yes. And she packages them. I did take the tool off because I looked at it. But she wraps them up in tissue and puts like a tool bow around them. I cannot wait to get my advent calendar. Cannot wait. All right, I've got two more things to share. And it's my monthlies from Color and Cotton. So I got my fabric of the month this week and my floss. Yay! So I swapped over to 20 Count Ada this month. And this is the 2020 August. It does not have a name. They're calling it Special Edition. And so I get a fat quarter of 20 Count Ada. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I actually switched over my Be Stitch Me to 20 Count also. So I'm going to have all the 20 Count. And my threads came. Yay! So I get the 10 pack all colors. So I get kind of a mix. So I've got Boysenberry, which is one of my favorites. But I can always take more. Ivy. Nimbus, Portobello, and Tusk. So those are super pretty. And they pack them so beautifully. Uh, such, such cool, such coolness. And then look at this one. I love these. I feel like this is like the perfect color palette for something. Like look at these together. So cool. All right, so this is Caribbean. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Pumpkin patch. Oh my goodness, that's a great orange. Prim orange. Purple geranium. Look at that. Yes. Lilac. Oh my gosh, so good. And celery. That is way blowing it out. Celery. Oh my gosh, another great month. So good. So good, so good. Love it. I love getting my fabric and my floss and seeing what I get. It's like such fun. It's such fun to see what you get and to open all the things. So yeah, good stash this week. Probably have some more coming next week, you know, because, you know. Um, some things I am consistently keeping, um, keeping my subscription. So I am keeping my fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me along with her silks. I am keeping my color and cotton fabric of the month and threads. I'm not going to leave those because why? <laughs> They're amazing. Um, but I, you'll notice I switched to preferred counts because I wanted to make sure. And all I had to do was reach out to both of those precious ladies and request it. And they can all, and I even said, like, you can totally say no. I will be fine keeping what I have. Um, so... 
Uh, also signed up for Retreat in a Box, which is through the Black Needle Society. They are doing a every other month Retreat in a Box subscription. And so I signed up for it starting in January. So it's every other month. It's a little pricier, but it's a good box. I mean, it's got like, I think they said 11 to 13 items in it, stitching and other related. I am hoping, I think soon the, um, I did their fall box that will be coming soon. So I might do a special video for that. I did get their Christmas 12 day box. I was not quick enough to get the 25, which is fine. And I did go ahead and get their Jane Austen box. Those are all special edition and have long since sold out. Um, but I would say follow on Instagram, Black Needle Society, if you are interested in getting any of their boxes. I did go ahead and stop my Victorian Motto for now. Um, I did de-stash some because I realized I had a lot of duplicated type colors. Not the actual like names were duplicated, but the colors were close or way too close. And um, I just didn't have space. So I went ahead and de-stashed some of those. Some of you were like super quick, like within three seconds, we're like, me, 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 me. Same with my thread pickers, because I had a lot of thread pickers that I had two or three of. They've got 50 yards on them. Um, and the plan that I have with them doesn't require me to even have a full skein of each. So I want to thank you, each and every one of you, for joining me this week. Please remember if you're interested in stitching the chart that I'm sharing with you this week to place um, the word ARK, A-R-K, in the comments below. Let me give you your hug of the week. So here's your hug. Mm -hmm. And then give yourself a hug. And it's time to share the angel kindness card for today. So each week I share Teresa Kogut angel kindness cards. I really want the one that I shared last week to be a cross stitch. So Teresa, if you watch this, you don't. But if you happen to ever stumble upon this, I would like for, I'm going to show you again because it was like one of my by far favorite ones, this sweet precious angel to be a cross stitch, please. Like in its entirety, full coverage, just like this. Yes, please. Please and thank you very so much. So the one I have today, oh, adorable. I love it. So the front of the card says, blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God. And that is from Matthew. But I love the blue on this. I love her calm and serene expression. The way she's just holding that heart almost in a hug. It's just, it's such a great, great angel. And this one is so succinct and to the point. The path to joy begins with contentment. Take the first step. So please take the first step in finding what brings you contentment. Um, obviously not everybody is in a position to be going back to work in person. Some people are at home with their children all the time. Um, and online learning is, is rough. I have some friends that are struggling with it because it's just not going well. And so I really do hope that there is something you can find within your day that brings you that contented feeling because it really is the first step to true joy. Um, and joy is something that can be fleeting. It can zap away in a moment's notice. But one step towards being content in the moment can help you feel that deep, loving joy. So that's my TED Talk for today. Um, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. Um, I feel like I chatted a lot. I showed a lot of starts, um, but I'm loving everything that I'm stitching. And I did go through every, that was part of what took me so long with the D stashes. I went through every project, every project. And some of the things that I'd started went to D stash with the fabric, with all the floss. And some of you are getting some fantastic projects. Um, they're just not things I can see myself stitching. It just is what it is. So with that, I will bid you so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I will see you next Friday.